Now as I get ready to cast this big, beautiful 10 inch mag draft with a giant smile on my face, I can't help but recall a lot of the memories I've created with this particular bait, both with my own experiences and my friends and clients. And this is the 10 inch mag draft. It's easier to step into a big 10 inch, six ounce bait like this after you build some confidence with a six inch mag draft in particular and channel your inner Zal Dangerous because that's There's a great one. confidence builder and experience builder to fish the same style of bait and the same type of cover applications, same mechanics on a grander scale. But once you build that confidence level and experience level up, then you can step into the eight, maybe even the 10, when you're reducing your number of bites, but increasing the quality dramatically. I'm gonna try and parallel the edge here, draw fish out from the cover. Big, beautiful paddle tail is kicking up a lot of water, creating a lot of vibration and displacing a lot of water. I feel like water displacement is a key feature with these bigger baits. You know, those fish can really use their lateral line, especially in low light conditions, low visibility conditions. And I've seen fish in clear water situations travel 20 to 50 feet to come engage one of these baits. And this bait in particular, that gives me the confidence that even though I'm fishing this bait in 10 feet of water here on the outside of this pad edge, those fish 20, 30, 40, 50 feet away could potentially sense this giant bait swimming through the water and swim out from that cover. Where you'd normally have to, you know, punch them or throw a frog maybe, or some other weedless application and pretty much drop it on their nose. And now you're drawing them out where they're in trouble. That's where that heavy gear comes into play. 30 pound mono in this case, I'm trying to keep that bait a little bit higher in the column. The mono doesn't sink as much as the fluoro. There's a little bit of grass that's submerged that we can't see. Fast taper rod because we're fishing a soft plastic bait and we do drive the hook home on these bites. I'm relying on size here. That size itself is a driving factor in getting these big fish engaged. Now we're fishing at East Texas Reservoir here. There's gizzard shad, there's obviously sunfish, some juvenile bass, there's plenty of big prey items. It's applicable anywhere there are big fish. You know, and big fish are relative. In Texas, you know, it's, it's a double digit or even a five pounder in the north, you know? So there are typically two different ways I like fishing this bait. In the west, we don't have a lot of cover like these docks, overhanging trees, not much opportunity to skip stuff. So I'm typically fishing a full seven foot 11, eight foot class rod. The longer rod helps facilitate long bomb casts across, you know, open water, big points, big feeding flats, submerged humps, that kind of stuff deep clear water you want to get the bait away from the boat and for that I like like I said seven foot eleven extra heavy fast taper the other scenario is when we start fishing isolated docks like this and other overhead cover I actually pr prefer a shorter rod this for example is a seven foot eight rod this really helps me maneuver the bait in tight quarters I can do backhand regular like roll casts like, and really get that bait in tight when I got really small windows. And typically I'm fishing this bait in particular on monofilament, 30 pound straight mono. I like fishing the 10 inch mag draft a little bit higher in the column in most cases, especially when it's rigged stock like this with a big hanging treble hook with the mag system. So the mono actually helps keep it in that upper zone. So regardless of whether I'm making short accurate casts or the long bomb casts, I really prefer a 400 size conventional round reel with a little bit lower gear ratio. Five, eight to one is what this is geared at. And I feel like that's the perfect speed to where I can really like kind of fish this bait at a slowish to medium pace and, and really feel that bait oscillating and that tail kicking and moving water. And that five, eight to one kind of just lets me get in that zone and I can start painting that picture in my head. But the big swim bait, is, I mean, man, it helps really piece together a lot of those key puzzle pieces.